going on guys? My name is Shane and today we are trying a super gimmicky beauty product. I don't expect it to work, but I figured it would still be a lot of fun to get on camera with you guys and try it out. I'm sure you have seen it on Instagram. I know I've seen ads for it on Facebook. There are like a thousand different versions of it now, but it is the Beauty Blender washing machine. <laughs> I ordered this one specifically on Amazon. I will leave a link down below if you wanna try it for yourself. I figured if worse comes to worse, it wasn't that much. I think it was under 10 US dollars. And I figured if it doesn't work, it makes a great washing machine for my daughter's Barbie clothes. So, win-win situation, right? So we do have a little bit of uh, prepping to do for this thing. And I haven't even watched a video on it besides like the little 30 second ads on Instagram, but I think we can figure it out for the most part. It came with no instructions, literally came in a box and then this bag and product was in said box. So I, I don't really know what to expect, but I did look ahead and we are gonna need some batteries. So I picked up both double and uh, triple A batteries because I didn't know, oh, I didn't know what it would take and I wanted to make sure that I could get this video done today. Um, but the component itself is just super cute. I don't know, it's just one of those things that um, I would even like to display. I don't know, I'm weird like that, but I'll show you guys on the top. Um, it has this little clear, plastic lid you can see there's like a little spinning device inside we have one functioning button here um, the rest of it is a sticker and that is pretty much it you have this uh, which from the videos I believe was like the drain maybe possibly I think it's the drain because it clips up here and then when you're done with the water you unclip it and then pour it out, I believe. So, so we are gonna leave that clipped in. So I do have my Dirty Beauty Blender. I just used this this morning and I have a glass of water to pour into our machine here. And I don't use any fancy schmancy soap to wash any of my makeup brushes. I actually just use a Johnson's uh, Baby Moisture Wash. The uh, bottle has seen better days. I don't know what has happened to this thing, um, but I've had it for a while and I only use it to clean my makeup brushes. Yeah, so we're gonna use that today as well. First things first, let's open the bottom. Oh, this lid is a little flimsy. Not gonna lie, it feels very, very, very uh, cheap. Oh, this might not fit. Oh, you're gonna be like that. Okay, well, I thought I was prepared. Let me go get a smaller screwdriver. Luckily, I have this little smartphone repair kit that's been sitting in my drawer for quite a while, so it does have a variety of screws in here, so hopefully we can find one that fits um, without actually stripping the screw because then we won't be getting anywhere today. Already inconvenient. <laughs> I mean, who, oh, okay, this one fits. I mean, who, I mean, how many of you guys got a smartphone repair kit lying around? You know what I mean? So you're gonna need a super tiny screwdriver. Glad that worked out. Let's get this screw out. I don't know why I put that away, considering I'm gonna have to put the screw back in. Oh, and even more convenient, it takes triple A's, which <laughs> I feel like most people would have double A's lying around. So all of a sudden, this thing is just full of inconvenience, but luckily, I came prepared, so let's go ahead and put these two in. All right, very nice. Let's screw this back in. You know what I just realized? This is so random, but as I'm, as I'm screwing this back in, my daughter has had this uh, kitchen play set for probably, I don't know, four years now, and um, it was breaking. Like the battery was dying, so it would make this obnoxious, noise every night. I can't even explain the noise, but it would make this obnoxious noise every night. And I just realized I don't hear anything. So I think it's finally died. Yes, <laughs> sounds terrible, but I've been, I've been trying, I tried to like open it to take the batteries out and I stripped the screw. And uh, I'm just glad it's dead now because I don't have to hear that anymore. Okay, batteries in, let us see. I'm gonna bring you guys in again. See if we can see. <laughs> okay, so the, the 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 it turns it on and off. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring you guys down for a second. All right, let me clear off my station a little bit. So here we go. Here is the little washing machine. So I again I didn't really watch any videos on this, but it seemed pretty self-explanatory. I am going to take a little bit of water 
And I don't know how much I'm supposed to fill it. Let me see, is there like a fill line? I don't see one, so I think, I don't know, I'm gonna eyeball it maybe eh, a little more than halfway, maybe a little bit more. I don't know, you guys can see where I've, I've filled it up to. And then I'm just gonna add about like a pump of soap in there. And then I am going to take said dirty, dirty beauty blender and I'm gonna put it in, I don't know what way I should put it in this way, I guess. Oh, okay, I think I added too much water. <laughs> okay, because if I, if I push this down and close the lid, it's gonna go everywhere. So let me uh, get some of that water out there. So now it's really only kind of near the bottom. I need, okay, yeah, I need enough space to actually close the lid. But I feel like, I don't know. I don't feel like this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Let's see. It is struggling. <laughs> okay, um, you could hear, you could hear it wanting to turn, but it definitely wasn't. So maybe it needs a little more water. All right, let's try that. I'm gonna add a little bit of soap because I feel like maybe I kind of poured some out. And I'm gonna try putting it in this way, where it's like the, the it's not as, I don't know. Oh, did I break it? It like try, all right, let me take this out. Oh, whoa. All right, so that's what I want. But it does not, it does not, yeah, as soon as, Let's... Oh God, oh God, oh God. Um... Oh my gosh, even if I... Okay, well, as soon... Okay, okay. let's... As soon as it touches the little um, white spinny thing, it stops. But if I hold it like right above it so it's not actually touching it, it, let me squeeze this out real quick. Oh, that is disgusting. Ew, look at that water now. I just squeezed that out. Um, as soon as it touches it, it stops. Um, so let's spin it again. And I am just gonna, I guess, like hold it above. But in that case, I'm gonna want some more water. Oh. All right. Well, does it work? Not really. <laughs> not as well as I wanted to, but I will say that holding it above so it's not touching that little thing uh, works. I'm gonna see if I have any of those really small beauty blenders and see if that'll work. All right, let's turn this off. Let's um look. Okay, I can definitely still see dirt. Like that that's still, you know, makeup. Uh but let's do the other side just for fun, I guess. <gasps> oh, I thought we had success for a second. It's too heavy. And the blade it, it, uh the fan is simply not strong enough. Well, <sighs> I think that's all we can do, really do with that one. So I am gonna take this and uh, again, squeeze it out. Ew, so you can definitely see it's still dirty. I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna have to go and rinse this off. But, all right, I grabbed myself a little disposable uh, container here and I'm going to see if this little thing is what I think it is. So, oh yeah, there we go. You can see that the water is dirty. So it's cleaning something. <laughs> Just not my beauty blender. <laughs> All right guys, I am going to uh, clean this out completely. I'm gonna see if I have a smaller sponge upstairs. I haven't used a smaller sponge in a really long time, but I am curious if this would be a cute little gadget maybe for the smaller uh, beauty sponges. So I will be right back. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the little ones. I've thrown them all out. I even looked for my Scylla sponge, if you guys remember that video. Couldn't find it. I think that one would have been uh, too heavy as well, but 
I do remember them trying dirty brushes. I need to wash my makeup brushes, so I figured this would be a perfect time. Oh, this is an old beauty blender I found that my cat got into, by the way, but that one's going right in the trash. Um, I do wanna try my makeup brushes and see maybe how that would work. So everything is rinsed out. I have brand new water, so I am gonna go ahead. I'm gonna fill it about halfway again. We're gonna add a little bit of, oh, a little bit of soap. So again, it, it didn't work for my beauty blender. That, that was a bust. But will it work for my makeup brushes? Who knows? But let's go ahead, turn it on. Kind of get sets up a little bit. I'm gonna try big face brushes like this, and I'm also gonna try, um, I got a couple dirty uh, eye brushes as well. Go ahead, let's try the big brush first. Let me try just plopping it in. Nope, stops the blade. So again, it would be one of those things that where I kind of have to hold it. I mean, I can definitely see the water getting gross and dirty, but I feel like without either real power behind the spin or something inside to actually scrub it, I'm not gonna get as clean as I'd want it to. So but we're gonna try it. I mean, let's see. Ew. Oh, you know what? I mean, it's still dirty for sure, but let me see. Let's turn you off for a second. And uh, let me just give it like, if I was running under a faucet, a quick rinse. Okay, you know what? Uh, no. <laughs> nope, that would still need a good uh, cleaning. So face brushes are also off the table. Let's try two of my favorite eye brushes and see if smaller brushes might work better. Oh, oh, there we go, okay. Let's get these guys in. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Let's try something here. So face uh, eye, eye brushes might work because they are small enough. Like they're certainly, you know, not spinning around or anything, but that might actually work. Cause I wouldn't mind leaving that running for a minute, you know? All right, let me take one out. I'm gonna let these kind of do their thing for a second. I'm gonna go ahead, kind of swirl it around this water off to the side again. Oh, you know what, guys? This one came out much cleaner than the other brush did. I got water all over my damn table. Um, okay, so we might have actually found a use for this. Let me see, I'm gonna pull out another one. We're gonna pull out that one, give it a quick swirl. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna like push out the water. And that water coming out is, is clear, guys. I mean, it, it still looks dirty on the tip just from like years and years of using this brush. But the other side also has a ton of concealer on it. So I'm gonna put that in. I'll try another brush. Give it a swirl, 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 swirl. A quick, you know, obviously I would do this over like a faucet normally, but guys, that water is coming out clean. Oh, all right, so a gimmicky product. I think my daughter is gonna be disappointed. <laughs> you know, if it comes between my daughter wanting it for her Barbies, I'm gonna give it to her for her Barbies. But if you guys are buying this for yourself, um, face brushes seem to work. I'm gonna give these two a quick rinse as well. Um, you know, it's obviously, I wanted it for the beauty blender, but, oh my goodness. Okay, the concealer one either needed more time. You know, concealer can be so thick. Um, so some of these work, some of these don't. I mean, could you get a better clean just using like a regular standard makeup brush? Sure, it's not as fun though. For me personally, this is not gonna be like the way that I clean my makeup brushes. Um, but I figured maybe for eye brushes, this might just be a fun little thing to turn it on, throw like five eye brushes in it, let it sit for like, I don't know, five minutes and then give it a quick rinse. Oh, are you leaking? Oh my gosh. Why are you leaking through the battery? Oh my God. All right, another quick test. Oh, you are leaking. 
What the heck? <laughs> okay. Mmm. Glad I didn't end the video there. Wow, that was turbo gimmicky. Mmm. That's a shame. Okay. So, bottom line is, I'm gonna be taking the batteries out of this thing, as cute as it would be from, you know, my daughter put her little toys in there and have them spin around. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It don't work. Um, the little, just scared the crap out of me. I turned on the battery by accident. I thought I was gonna die. Um, you know, with me, you never wanna get batteries wet. Um, that's a little terrifying that that was leaking through the battery compartment. Um, you can still kind of see water coming out of there. I'm gonna take the battery out and then let my daughter have it and then just, you know, use her imagination. Then I'll, then I'll feel safe, um, you know, putting some water in it. We can like dip them and wring them out or whatever. I don't know. Um, but, th you know, this was fun, but certainly not what I expected. And the little like sticker right here, is getting wet and you guys know that water and stickers don't really go well together that is actually one of the first things that i thought of when i saw it so maybe there's better versions out there i would definitely need something stronger for sure um with a little more spinning power and maybe not a blade that uh i look like it could clean my ears with it doesn't look very strong at all so I still had fun. Am I disappointed? No, because I wasn't honestly expecting the product. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this product to work. I want to go on Amazon now. Now I'm inspired and see if they have like a bigger, better version of it. And I want to kind of do like a part two uh, trial on this, but I don't, I don't know if that even exists, but we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, regardless of if this product worked or not. I, ha I still had a ton of fun filming. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any new videos while you're down there, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye guys.